Good morning, afternoon, or evening, chaps, depending on where you are in the world. My name is Typical, and today we're not actually doing a Let's Play video. No, we're not. If you can't already tell, this video is a little bit different. It's not along the normal style where it's just me up in top corner in my webcam playing a game, being an idiot. This is me using this opportunity on my channel to have a rant and a good moan. I'm English, I'm really good at these things, so I thought, fuck it. These are my top 10 things that really piss me off lately. Number 10 <coughs> Indicators or more along the lines of lack of use of indicators. If you don't know what an indicator is, it's that amber flashy light on the back of cars that tell other drivers where you're turning. Don't get me wrong, in most cases, I don't care where you're going. I don't even care if you crash your damn car. As long as you don't crash it into mine, I couldn't give a flying donkey fuck. It's when it starts to affect me when I start to get really pissed off. For example, just yesterday I were at a roundabout and I wanted to turn right at this roundabout. But before I can pull out, I have to wait for the other people on the roundabout to turn off. The courteous thing to do is friggin indicate when you're turning off, but this one arsehole, let's call him Barry, Barry with his spotted dick in one hand and his cup of tea in the other whilst getting noshed off by his ugly ass wife, decided that he's gonna turn off, but he ain't gonna let me know. No, why the fuck is he gonna let me know. He just turns off. I didn't know he was going to turn, so I didn't pull out. But if you think that's bad, Michael, the knobhead behind him, let's just call him Michael, he looks like a Michael, thought the guy in front were a fucking genius. And he would then realise that you don't actually have to indicate at roundabouts. So that knob jockey didn't indicate either. So I was sat there for like 30 seconds. Cars behind me thinking I'm a right idiot for not pulling out. And I was sat there like I'm a good driver. I'm sorry. If you sat watching this and you're a culprit that doesn't indicate off of roundabouts or just indicate in general, I have a little message for you from us common folk. I hope your royal highness's ass drives off a cliff and lands on a load of jagged rocks, you assholes. Number nine. <laughs> Tactile pavement, or more commonly known as drop curbs. Again on the parking issues, people who stop and park their cars on a tactile pavement are absolute dickheads. This one's a little bit more personal for me, as I've mentioned before on this channel. I'm a carer for my mum who's disabled. Don't get me wrong, she's not crippled or anything, she can walk round, but for long distances like trips to town etc, she has a mobility scooter. But when it comes to crossing the road and some arsehole's parked his SUV, BMW, souped up out of the fucking ass drug dealer car, over the drop curb, this means my mum can no longer cross the pissing road. I get a great deal of satisfaction when I see these assholes getting ticketed by the wardens. If it were up to me, I'd have the car crushed with the driver in the boot of it. Number 8. <laughs> smokers. By smokers, I don't mean cigs or smoke itself. I mean the people. You. I know this is a bit of a touchy subject. I have my own personal reasons for not liking smoking. But I don't go around preaching telling people that they shouldn't smoke. That's my opinion. People should be able to do whatever they want. And if you want to put toxins in your body, be my guest. I couldn't give a fuck if you injected arsenic into your veins every morning. Quite frankly, if that's something you want to do, go do it. I don't care. I wouldn't recommend it because you'll be dead. But... People still insist on smoking, which leads me to a little story, what I like to call the story of Brian and his leather skin. Once upon a time, before the typical English gamer here could actually drive, I used to have to get buses everywhere. And a bus in England is actually as fun as it sounds. Smelly, noisy, and why does the tramp always have to come and sit next to me? But on this particular occasion, legendary Brian was getting off at the same stop as me. So as we stood there on the bus, waiting, queuing to get off as the bus pulled up to the stop, Brian decided that he's going to put a cig in his mouth. He's got his lighter in hand. He can't wait to light up this cig. I could tell it's been a while since he had one as sweat was dripping down his leathery yellow skin. Must have been at least five minutes since he last sparked up. But as buses do, stops at the stop. Doors open, we all start to move forward and exit the bus. But Brian, the legend, the fucking god amongst men, decides as soon as his foot hits the frigging curb, he's going to stop. Blocking all exits off of the bus so he can light his cig. I don't know if you ever been around a smoker who's lit a cig up or if you've actually just seen it in general but when you first light a cig up it lets off a massive crop dusting cloud of shit smelling smoke well this obviously just blew all onto the bus straight into my face who stood right behind him obviously i felt grateful for this act but he carried on walking and lucky me I have to follow Brian for another 5 to 10 minutes before I can overtake him so I can go where I need to go. And all the time he was just puffing away at his friggin' cig and it was blowing directly back at me. I actually had to set off running just to overtake this guy. I thought smokers were meant to be slow. I understand that you have the right to put whatever you want in your body. 
But surely the same rule applies for me as well, and I choose not to have that shit in my body. So the next time you want to spark up a cig in public, go under a bridge and light it with the trolls, you assholes. Number seven. <laughs> this one's a bit shorter. Old people. I'm not saying I don't like old people, I'm not even saying all old people annoy me. It's just more specific things old people do. And it's mainly around shopping. Why is it that old retired people have to do their shopping at the same time as me? They're retired. They don't work. They're at home all day. I get it. They've worked all their lives and they deserve a rest. I totally agree. I couldn't respect old people more than I do. I absolutely love old people. But when I've been at work all day and I come home, I have YouTube videos to make. So when I go shopping, I want to be in and out faster than a professional bank robber. I don't want to be stood behind Mary who insists on telling the story of how she got a new bank card and then it takes six checkout people and a manager just to show her how to use the damn card and in the end she just pays by cash and counts her pennies out anyway which takes another six hours. This might just be me but if I ever lived to the ripe old age where my skin's as wrinkly as a raisin and as senile as a doorknob I like to think that I'll do my shopping at dinner time with all the other zombies. Number six. <laughs> Following on from the last one, it's not necessarily old people that can piss you off shopping. It can be anyone. And nine times out of ten, it's some mother who's shopping with her 19 kids who she can't control. She's pissed you off down every single aisle because she just happens to be buying everything you're frigging buying. But the worst bit, she just happens to be in front of you at the frigging checkout as well. And surprise, surprise, she knows the last behind the checkout. They haven't seen each other in a while, so they've got a lot to talk about. I'm there to buy milk. I couldn't give a flying fuck about Michael, who's been having it off with Mavis, who's now got an STD, who's been spreading it around like butter. I couldn't care less. Want to pay for me milk? Go home and make a cup of tea. That's why I'm here. And you heard of Facebook? Message each other. Don't stand in the queue gabbing away. Number five. Spoiler alert, dickheads. I don't know about you, but I've been burned many times scrolling down my social media, mainly Facebook, just to have my favourite episode of the next show I want to see ruined by some asshole who thinks it's okay to write every single plot twist in the latest episode on their timeline. And obviously, it pops up on my timeline, because I like the same goddamn show. But ladies and gents, it gets worse. These people on Facebook, I can manage. We can control whether we see it or not. We just don't look down Facebook. If you haven't seen the latest episode of Game of Thrones, don't go on Facebook. It's simple. So if you do happen to scroll down and see something, you can't 100% blame the person who posted it. Don't get me wrong. They take the majority of the blame, but they can't take it all. However... What is worse, it's very rare, but I'm talking about the face-to-face -face spoiler alert dickhead. Nine times out of ten, it's some sweaty fat arsehole who can't button up his shirt properly because he's too wide. Most of the time, this guy doesn't even speak to you, let alone engage in conversation. But this particular occasion, you can't wait, you've recorded the new episode of The Flash or The Green Arrow or anything, whatever you're into. And you just can't wait to get home and watch it. But this greasy asshole, let's call him Ned. Ned comes over with his pimples and his greasy forehead and just says, Ah, your favourite character just died. Ah, and walks away like it's no big deal. I'm sorry, but I believe the law needs to be changed for these situations. I think it's perfectly acceptable at this point to chop this guy's face off, wear it as a mask just to freak out his closest loved ones. Number four. PPI calls. Do I seriously need to say any more about this subject? PPI calls. Who the fuck are these people? I get about four phone calls a day. In fact, if you work in a PPI call centre, do me a favour. When you go to work tomorrow, please grab your headset and ram it so far up your ass it tickles your eyeballs. Number three. Sub for sub subscribers on YouTube. No, scratch that. Any social media that uses a like, follow or subscription based system on their website. Instagram gets me more than anything. People will go down my page, like every single one of my pictures, send me a follow and then send me a message straight after. Telling me that they've liked all my pictures and followed me and would I like to do the same for them. So naturally, being the nice guy that I am, I look at their profile. I go down there four pictures of two of their cat, one of a Google image of a superhero and one of a pencil drawing of a, some form of stick man. No, I don't want to follow you. No, I don't want to even like your pictures. The Google image looks alright, I might give that a like. But obviously, I haven't liked any of their pictures, I haven't followed them back, so within 24 hours, they've unfollowed and left. Not a big deal, I couldn't overly care. 
but it's annoying. My phone bleeps like mental. I've got over a hundred pictures. They've liked every single one of them. Just to follow, then unfollow. Who's got the frigging time? But sub for sub on YouTube, I honestly don't get that. Subscription is to say that I like your content and I want to see more of it. I ain't gonna sub to you just because you've subbed to me. If you like my content, sub to me. Great. I ain't gonna sub to you just because you've subbed to me. That's just stupid. Who wants to have thousands of hundreds of thousands of subscribers but only four or five of them actually watch your videos it looks a bit stupid if you ask me number two <laughs> I've had a bit of a rant about everything and everyone so far, but I haven't really attacked myself yet, so fuck it, here we go. Not being able to find anything. I don't know if it's just me or if a lot of people suffer with this, but I can't find anything in my house. And it's not that my girlfriend moves anything, it's more just to do with me being ignorant and lazy and unorganised. But it still pisses me off. Literally, I was walking around my apartment in my boxes because I couldn't find pants or a top or anything and i know everyone's saying typical why don't you be a bit more organized well screw that shit i'm english i don't do anything the easy way number one <laughs> number one's a bit of a twist and you're probably going to be thinking it's a bit of a cop out but this is a list of things that piss me off at this moment in time and in this moment in time dark souls is the bane of my existence i've managed to complete dark souls one i'm now on dark souls two this game has literally been sent by the devil himself to raise my blood pressure so far i've managed to hurt my wrist and break the back of my keyboard because of this game but for some reason i can't stop playing it's like crack cocaine not that i've ever tried crack cocaine but i imagine it's a lot like dark souls you know you shouldn't play it but you must you spend all day thinking about it and you can't wait just to get home and try it but after you've done it you just feel like shit and you wish you never did that's probably a really inaccurate analogy of what it's like to take crack cocaine but like i said i never have done so i will never know but speaking of dark souls i best hurry up and end this video because i really need to go kill that medusa bitch Hey chaps, I just wanted to thank you again for watching my video. If you've made it this far, thank you very much for watching the video through to the end. And if you've skipped ahead to this bit and you just happen to land on it, shame on you, you're something else that also pisses me off. Stop skipping through YouTube videos. I really hope you don't take this video too to heart. It is literally just me taking the piss at some little things that wind me up. I have over-exaggerated some a little bit and some are even true stories. But I hope you enjoyed it. And if you want to see me make more videos like this in the future, let me know by leaving a like, a comment, or just basically just talking to me. I really hope I haven't offended or upset anybody. But if I have, I can't help that. This is me just being silly. But as always, chaps, thank you very much for watching this video. If you liked it, you know what to do. If you want to see more from me, you want news at this. You know where to click to subscribe. But as always, chaps, thank you. This is me, just being typical. I'm going to go make a cup of tea. Bye!